How's it going on? One of the best games, honestly, ever for huge childhood memories of myself and many others, just launched Legend of Mana series. So, as we all know, Legend of Mana series has been out for years and years, but there's very interesting aspects of the game and very interesting um, things you can do. So, what we're going to be doing today pretty much is going through Trent, our good old buddy, making fruit, and I'm going to kind of explain a little bit how to make certain specified fruits and certain specified veg vegetables, as well as um, a few other things in order to get your uh, journey started during the beginning of the game. So I'm going to kind of flip and flop through a couple different files just to show real quick. So we're going to go on down here. And so now, as all we know, the home area during the beginning, there's over here is just pet corral. Over there is the blacksmith instrument section and golem makery. And then right down below is Trent. Now, Trent is somebody you want to end up using free very frequently, over and over, over constantly. But we're going to show you a little cheese method we can do constantly to make it a lot easier to work with. So, let's say, for example, you see, getting seeds. So, for example, um, all the different seeds we got is, is here, except for Loblon. I'm kind of missing a few of those. But, um, are specified by certain categories real quick red blue was it uh red blue green orange purple white rainbow so every single different type of uh seed has a certain specified element or not element but um attribute towards them so you combine either one base one like two big seeds together in order to get full-blown green items so you can buy a small seed would be considered orange and then so on and so forth down the line so then spiny seeds are called consider rainbow now rainbow is kind of like an interesting little aspect you can get in the game where you can attach them to any different types of seed but it'll give you kind of like a wild card if you're looking for like a rare rare vegetable something that you really really want to use on either your pets to up or just to use in general then these are the ones that you want to end up using a farm with so i'm going to show you a quick little method real quick so the thing that i got here real quick as you all know if anybody hasn't played it or played it already a little poultry box right here it's going to go all up top and we don't really have it on this file unfortunately so let me real quick because <laughs> there's a new new game so just going to transfer over to another one that does actually have it. There it is. Okay, so the area we're in right now is Luan Highway, which is one of the beginning areas of the game. Now, as you can see, I'm kind of going to show you real quick. Let's go through the quick item section. Go on down, down, down. There we go. Alright, so as you can see, the easiest method to be able to tell, if you can't really remember it fully, just look looking around your section. So, Brown seeds are blue. I don't have any oblong, unfortunately. Those are yellow. Crooked seeds are red. Big seeds green. Small seed orange. Long seed purple. Flat seeds white. And then spiny seeds are rainbow. Now, spiny seeds are one of the ones that are really, really hard to come by and whatnot. But as you can see, let me show you again real quick from the amount of, some, some of the amount of seeds that I already have. So as you can see here, on this file I have 80 big seeds, small seeds 48, long seeds 60. Now the reason being for that is we're going through here real quick to fight the first three enemies of the game, which are these lily pads. Now lily pads are really, really, really helpful to work with, but the problem with them is every single time you'll either get either a big seed or a long seed or a small seed. And their drop rate is very, very rare in order to get. So it's going to take you a lot of time if you're trying to get a lot of those rainbow seeds that you actually want to work with. So all you really want to do is you want to just keep on farming these things over and over again as much as possible. But the better method is you're going to want to go in with Mr. Polterbox. So I'm going to show you a real quick area up top. Now there are two different sections you can go to, with one of which is the junkyard, where there's usually going to be an egg there in the junkyard section. So kind of exit out of here real quick. I got stroll on over. There we go. 
All right, so as many of you know, maybe during the beginning of the game, you're going to meet uh, Elazul in the first area of Domina. So activating his area will end up activating the section to go to the Tower of Lears. Tower of Lears is going to be the section you're going to want to go to. So you can kind of just traverse on over. It's gonna take us just a little bit, a little bit of time to get up there. But I'm just gonna show you exactly where to go as I'm traversing through here. I'm gonna bypass those Durandal. Swing on up, and pop on in. Okay, so we're on the fourth floor right now. As soon as we get to the fifth floor of the tower, pretty much, we're gonna go down two sections because otherwise you're gonna go around in kind of like a circle. So we're gonna just go down. And it's a little bit easier because you can't have the uh, enemy encounter turned off, so it makes it a lot easier to just run past everything if you want. It doesn't take too too long to actually get up to the top. Oh god. <laughs> Some problem with that. Gonna wanna go down here to Mr. Teleporter. Because otherwise, you go up top to number nine, it's just going to take you around the uh, dead end section. Whoops. So, now here we are, number 10. And all the way up. And here we are. And see, you're at the top section where you normally would end the area with a boss fight. So here we are, we're just gonna fall in this quick monster egg. So easiest method, many people kind of get annoyed with how the monster egg works. So as you see, it has like the little arrows around it. Usually what I like to do, make it a little easier, is I get a lot of different different types. Kind of switch into that. I'm gonna put this kind of like around in. He's gonna look at it. Can't look at it, there he is. So wait for him, heart, heart. And he's sleeping. Boom. Do we either sell it or <laughs> sell a different pet or whatnot? So these are all the different kind some of the different kinds you can get. You can get a, a rando dance life from it, which is pretty cool. But the main one you want to end up getting is the uh poultry guys. So all you really want to do is just keep farming this section right here. You can just keep on going in and out of the room, in and out of the room. Every now and again it's also very helpful. You'll find a shade, you'll find a uh, example, <laughs> Undine. So everybody kind of knows that this section for Undine, just quickly doing the basic abilities for Harmony. I might like it, I might not. No, I don't like it. <laughs> Either way, we're going to stop playing. Okay, so real quick, let me just return back, because otherwise it'll take a long time to get back down. I'm going to kind of show a little bit upon different combinations and how you can kind of cheese the method to a standpoint in order to get kind of the things you actually want to grab. So let's go on down. Pop on out. And here we are, the good old Trent. So we're just going to give him like I guess a kind of a different little combination. So usually Rainbow is kind of like a wild card to a standpoint. So you just click that. And I usually like any of the other seeds that you get pretty much are all categorized in certain types of uh, 
as the color. So rainbow, you get like random ones with certain others. So let's try like a BC, for example. We're just gonna do those two now. The easiest method. Most people like either doing like an event quest first or so, give or take. But all you really need to do is just go outside on the world map. I don't have too much on this one, but you're just gonna want to walk back and forth. So we'll do that like a few times. And it doesn't take too long at all. If you're good with it in general, if you want to be, you want to be legit. You don't want to waste any of your seeds like those rainbows. My highest method would be just saving upstairs in your house and then just resetting the game. So it'd be a lot easier in order to get the certain specified seeds, or, or not seeds, but uh, fruit and vegetables that you're actually looking for in order to up those pets, in order to actually end up uh, doing what you're trying to do. <laughs> so real quick, let's go one more. It doesn't take too long. Every now and again, depending upon some of the fruits and vegetables, you are going to want to go back outside in the world map and wander around because otherwise sometimes they might not be fully grown. But there are some that really grow super duper fast. So let's see. There we go. So as you can see here, that's kind of a rare one. Orange upas. And kind of rainbow ones give you some different types. So it's always interesting kind of like mix and match all your different seeds, but if you don't get a combination of uh, fruit and vegetable you want, just make sure you can always just reload the save data. Hope you all enjoyed. Hope that helps out. Catch you in a bit.